Shaping Futures. Welcome to our channel. Stay tuned until the end to discover how you can enhance your workplace. Whether you believe it or not, after watching this video, you'll learn about four popular tools widely used in modern manufacturing. The key is how you apply these tools and take action. Kaizen, a Japanese term meaning continuous improvement, is a philosophy that focuses on small, incremental changes to improve processes, productivity, and quality over time. Here are a few practical examples of Kaizen in various contexts. 1. Manufacturing, Improving Workstation Efficiency For this problem, I will use five whys analysis to know the actual root cause. Before that, why five whys? The five whys technique is a problem-solving method used to explore the cause and effect relationships underlying a particular problem. It involves asking why five times, or as many times as necessary, to drill down into the root cause of an issue. The idea is that by repeatedly asking why, you can peel away the layers of symptoms and get to the core of the problem. Here's how it generally works, identify the problem, clearly define the problem you're facing. Ask why, ask why the problem occurs. This will lead you to the first level of the cause. Ask why again, take the answer to the first why and ask why that issue happens. This will lead you to the second level of the cause. Repeat, continue asking why until you reach the root cause. It often takes about five iterations, but it might take more or fewer depending on the complexity of the issue. Address the root cause. Once you identify the root cause, you can develop and implement strategies to address it and prevent the problem from recurring. The technique is useful because it helps to go beyond surface level solutions and address the underlying issues that contribute to a problem. It's a fundamental tool in lean manufacturing and continuous improvement processes, but it can be applied in various contexts, from personal issues to complex business challenges. Take this problem as an example of using 5 whys analysis by using 4M and 1E. What is 4M and 1E then? The 4M and 1E framework is a tool used primarily in manufacturing and quality management to identify and analyze potential causes of problems or defects. It stands for man, machine, material, method, and environment. Here's a brief overview of each component. 1. Man. This refers to the people involved in the process. It involves examining factors related to human resources such as training, skills, motivation, and errors made by operators. 2. Machine. This covers the equipment and technology used in the process. It includes assessing the condition of machinery, maintenance practices, and whether the equipment is suitable for the task. 3. Material. This involves looking at the raw materials, components, and supplies used in the process. Key aspects include the quality of the materials, their storage conditions, and whether they meet the required specifications. Method. This relates to the processes and procedures used to produce the product or perform the task. It includes examining work instructions, standard operating procedures, and whether they are being followed correctly. Environment. This refers to the physical and working environment where the process takes place. It includes factors like temperature, humidity, cleanliness, and overall working conditions that could affect the outcome. By analyzing each of these areas, you can identify where issues might be arising and develop solutions to improve quality and efficiency. This framework is often used in root cause analysis, problem solving, and process improvement initiatives. Next, I will explain how combining two powerful tools to address a problem made the analysis more effective and impactful. Problem. Workers at a production line were spending extra time searching for tools and materials. First why, why production line were spending extra time searching for tools and materials. Under man, the workers always misplace the tools and materials. Second why, why the workers always misplace. Because the workers are not receiving training. Third why, why the workers are not receiving training. Because the there is no requirement to train on this aspect. Fourth why. Why there is no requirement to train on this aspect. Reason is there is no written SOP or procedure for this. Fifth why. Why there is no written SOP or procedure. Reason is the management overlooked this issue. Under machine. 
There is no need to address this category, as the problem is not related to the machine. Under material. First why. Why production line were spending extra time searching for tools and materials. Reason is there is no designated place for storing the material, under material. Second why. Why no designated place for storing the material. Reason is insufficient place. Third why. Why insufficient place. Reason is there is no standardization practice for storage. Fourth why. Why no standardization practice for storage. Reason is there is no SOP written or procedure on this. Fifth why. Why there is no SOP written or procedure on this. Because management overlooked this issue. Under method. First, why, why production line were spending extra time searching for tools and materials. Reason is no standardization on searching the tools. Second, why, why no standardization on searching the tools. Reason is no proper method provided. Third, why, why no no proper method provided. Reason is, there is no SOP written or procedure on this. Fourth, why, why there is no SOP written or procedure on this. Reason is, management overlooked this issue. Fifth why, why management overlooked this issue. Reason is, the company's culture lacks standardized practices. Under environment. First why, why production line were spending extra time searching for tools and materials. Reason for this is poor layout. Second why, why poor layout. Reason is, layout is not properly designed. Third why, why layout is not properly designed. Because the team who designed the layout, never review with the production team. Fourth why. Why the team who designed the layout, never review with production team. Reason is layout is different department. Fifth why. Why different department can cause this issue. Reason is management overlooked this issue. To address this issue effectively, it is clear that the company's management needs to implement immediate Kaizen. What would be the most effective Kaizen solution to resolve this problem? Kaizen solution. Implemented a 5S methodology, sort, set in order, shine, standardize, sustain, to organize the workstation. Tools were placed in labeled, easily accessible spots, and a visual management system was introduced. Outcome, reduced time spent searching for tools by 30%, which increased overall productivity and worker satisfaction. So, let me explain about the 5S methodology. The 5S methodology is a systematic approach used to improve workplace organization and efficiency. It originates from Japan and is part of the lean manufacturing principles. The 5S's stand for, sort, Siri identify and separate essential items from non-essential ones. Remove unnecessary items from the workspace to reduce clutter. Set in order, seat and organize and arrange necessary items so they are easy to access and use. Everything should have a designated place, and items should be stored in a way that enhances workflow. Shine, SISO clean the workspace regularly and ensure everything is kept in good condition. This includes cleaning equipment, tools, and work areas to maintain a neat and safe environment. Standardize, Saiketsu develop standardized procedures and practices to maintain the first three S's. This involves creating guidelines and schedules for sorting, organizing, and cleaning. Sustain, Shitsuke implement practices to ensure continuous adherence to the standards. This involves training, regular audits, and fostering a culture of discipline to maintain the improvements over time. The 5S methodology aims to create a more efficient, organized, and productive work environment by eliminating waste, reducing clutter, and establishing consistent practices. Based on this summary table, the 5S solution applies only to the categories of man, material, and method. However, a different approach is needed to address the environment category. Therefore, please stay tuned to follow by subscribing my channel to watch how I apply the solution for environment category, and you will get to learn on new problem solving tools then. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it has helped you learn the fundamentals of problem analysis and problem solving tools. If you like my video, please click the subscribe and like button.